On this episode, we'll be looking at climate and vegetation, the role of wind and water, and the five major climate regions and their characteristics. By the end of this episode, you will be able to identify the difference between weather and climate, explain the role of wind and water in creating the Earth's climate, and identify the Earth's five major climate regions and types of vegetation characteristic of each region. Roaming around the world to teach you how to use a map Making social studies interesting, I swear this is no trap Gonna learn about population, lines and degrees Once you're through with me, this will all be a breeze We'll travel around the world to visit seas and land Hopefully you'll learn something with the videos I have planned After we're through with all of this, you'll better understand Do you know the difference between weather and climate? Weather is the day-to-day -day changes in the air. Weather is measured by two things, by temperature and precipitation. Temperature is how hot or cold the air feels. Precipitation is water that falls to the ground. Precipitation can occur in many different forms, such as rain, sleet, hail, or snow. Climate is the average weather of a place over many years. An easy way to think of it is that weather is short term because it is day to day but climate is long-term because it's over a number of years. An area's climate is affected by the latitudinal location as well as by wind, water, and landforms. Disclaimer, landforms are not natural resources. Because we've previously looked at landforms, Let's look at wind and water. Wind and water keep the earth from overheating. Heat causes the air to rise, but the cold causes the air to sink. This is why the top floor is the hottest in the warmer months. Wind blows from places where the air sinks to places where the air rises. This means that wind blows from cool places to warm places. The Earth's rotation is what causes the circular pattern wind blows in. This rotation is also the cause of ocean currents. Some currents carry cold water from the poles toward the equator. Other currents carry warm water from the equator to the north and the south. A 
it takes water longer than land to regulate its temperature. This explains why in the summer, the ocean is still chilly, but the beach itself is very warm. In addition to regulating the Earth's temperature, wind and water can also create storms. One example of a storm created by the water is a hurricane. Hurricanes rotate counterclockwise around an eye. Hurricanes also involve heavy rainfall and can be very destructive. A tornado is an example of a storm caused by wind. Tornadoes work in a similar way to hurricanes. However, they affect a smaller area than that of hurricanes. Now on to the five climate regions. Do you know the five types of climate regions? The five regions are tropical, dry, moderate, continental, and polar. Each region contains vegetation that is unique to it. Vegetation is the plants that grow naturally in that region. First up is tropical. The tropical region is characterized by hot, wet, and sunny climate. Do you think the tropical region would be close to the equator or farther away? Why? Because the climate is hot and wet, that means the latitudinal degrees are lower. When the latitudinal degrees are lower, that means a region is closer to the equator. Keep in mind, the equator is zero degrees. The tropical region's vegetation includes thousands of different plants. These plants form rainforests all over the regions. Up next, we have the dry region. The dry region is characterized by dry and hot climate. Shocking, I know. This region has very little rainfall. The vegetation is sparse, but includes plants with small leaves and shallow roots used to absorb any possible water. Third, we have the moderate region. The moderate region is characterized by moderate rainfall and temperatures that rarely drop below freezing. The vegetation includes a number of different plants and shrubs. Next up is the continental region. The continental region is characterized by moderate to hot summers and cold winters. The vegetation includes grasslands and forests.
our last region is the polar region. Brr. The polar region is characterized by cold climates year-round. The vegetation includes shrubs and mosses, with no trees and very few plants that grow flowers. Don't forget your challenge to find where in the world is MK Shenandoah. Just a reminder, I'm at 42 degrees north and 94 degrees west. And don't forget that hint, you should be looking in the western hemisphere.